this is Microsoft SQL Server Queries Tour module and in this video we will see the demo for the regressed queries. A regressed query is that query which have a new execution plan than it had before. This new plan may be worse than before and query optimizer may decide a different plan because of the parameter sniffing or maybe the statistics changed or maybe the, the new index is created or index is altered or dropped due to any of these reason a new plan for the query is created which may be worse than it the before so the this kind of queries are known as uh, regressed queries and these regressed queries who uh, there is the two different plan and this regressed queries we will see from the query store module uh, we will go into the query store and we will say there in the regressed query report so let's move to the sql server management studio and there we will see this kind of queries this is sql server 2017 management studio and this is our example database trading db where we have enabled the query store and configure the query store in the previous videos and uh, if you want to see the query store is enabled for the database or not we can use this query uh, and we can f be able to f know that yeah this is the query store is enabled for this database so now we will pass the workload for this uh, database we will execute some one query so that we can find uh, out the regressions in this query and uh, this is the workload and this example I, uh, I took idea from this uh, link and uh, now I will use my example database and uh, here is the test table I will create this test table and uh, after that this test table is created with the primary key clustered which is on the customer id and i will also create a non clustered index on this value column of this table and after that i will insert some 50000 roundabout records into this table to check the query regression so now this 50,000 records will be inserted into this table. So records are inserted and uh, after that I will create the stored procedure. I will check it's already there or not. Yeah, I will create a stored procedure. This stored procedure have the logic that whenever I will pass the uh, value to this value parameter, it will bring all the records from this customer test table less than this value. So there, there are two indexes. One is the index on this value column, which is a non-cluster index, and one is the index on this customer ID column, which is a clustered index. So the non-cluster index is cre created with, uh, without any include columns. I will enable the uh, now the actual execution plan actual execution plan and i will i already enable the statistics also and now first i will pass this uh, procedure the value 50000 and there are 50000 records in this table so when i will pass this 50000 value to the value parameter it will bring all the records from this table this procedure will return that and we will see what the uh, query plan it will use so this procedure is executed and um, here is the uh, input outputs uh, statistics and uh, there are 263 logical reads and uh, to complete this uh, query the, there is the CPU time is 250, 250 milliseconds and 263 logical reads to bring the 50,000 records and this is the execution plan cluster index scan so the query optimizer used the cluster index scan and uh, instead of using the uh, this non cluster index which is on the value column uh, uh, the query optimizer used only the cluster index scan which is best in this scenario because we are taking uh, out all the values from this table and it's good that to scan instead of the lookup and um, now we will see we will see for the uh, value 
which is one and there is no record will be returned and but before to that we will uh, force the uh, cashier to clear this plan and for the value one we will see the now the what is the plan is created there is for when i pass the one value to this parameter there is no record less than one in this table so it did not bring any record and there is no logical words but the execution plan is different from the previous one here because we have two indexes on this table so the value parameter is using the non cluster index and uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, it's uh, using the index seek on the non cluster index and then key up key lookup for the cluster index because this is uh, there are very few records it's, okay, it's optimizer thought there are few records so it's used like this one and for this kind of uh, values it, it this plan is good because it will take this one and it, then it will go to the cluster index and it will check from uh, the values against there uh, in this cluster index but for the 50000 record this plan is bad because for the 50000 the key lookups it will takes more input output and it will a uh, performance hindrance so let's see now what is the plan for the uh, when i'm changing the parameter and now this i change the value 50000 and against this parameter value there must be returned the 50000 records so this to retrieve this 50000 records before there were 263 logical reads but now oops there are more than 100000 logical reads which is worse logical reads which is worse and what is the execution plan and the, oh this is because of the this key lookup the it's taking the uh, optimizer is taking this value one by one from the non cluster index and then it's uh, scanning in the uh, cluster index and bringing from there so these are key loop uh, key loop uh, this key look up created this much logical reads and this is worse before this that the before the plan which created before it was best plan than this plan so this is a query regression which is created regression because of the parameter sniffing so now we will go to the query store and we will uh, check these queries there and their plan history we will found also there in the um, uh, configurations we have said that after one minute the data flush interval will flush the data from memory to the query store so let's check the uh, regress query report this is a query store and here is the regress query and we will see here in this reg regress query this is the uh, data grid and here we can find out that this is the i'm uh, I, we can change the criteria from here i'm checking the only for the interval of last hour last hour whatever the regress queries uh, happened it will come here and um, this is the uh, query id 10 which is uh, the uh, select study from customer test this is our query which we uh, executed re uh, right now and this is uh, the object name stored procedure name and this query has two plans of course this is the plan which we created when we passed the value one and uh, this is the uh, history plan bef before when we pass the 50,000 value uh, as a parameter to this procedure, that time this plan was created. And after time, after uh, created this plan, which was the words for uh, 50,000 values. So we want to force this plan for uh, this query. Whenever this query will be executed, we are forcing to use this plan instead of this one because it's creating more logical reads, which is worse. So I'm going to, so I'm selecting this plan. I'm saying force plan. It's saying, for, do you want to force plan? This plan number 10 for this query ID 10. Yes, force it. And now we have done. We find the uh, regressed query into the regressed query report of query store. And then we uh, select the best plan and we force that plan for this query. And now we can find the, all the regressed query for which we force the plans here in the regressed query with regressed plans. This is the report which will give us the regressed queries. Sorry, this is the regressed queries. 
yeah this is the query id 10 which we uh, just recently we forced the plan for this one this is the plan which we forced and th this we can find here also so now we force the plan and we will go again to execute this query and we will see which plan it will use this is the reports we have to close this is our regressed query report i am going to execute before it was using this plan which is the worst plan because it's creating more than 100000 logical reads now i forced the best plan for this uh, kind of uh, per, per query so let's see what the plan it will come when i pass this 50000 so yeah the plan which i forced it's using that plan and the logical reads are 263 which is normal in that case and if i will execute with this value what is the plan yeah it's the same plan which is forced before it was using the key lookup but now it's using but what are the logical reads oops before the logical reads were zero but now it's also using the same logical reads which is for this big value so this is the drawback uh, because one time we are rectifying one thing and the, on the other side there is some thing we have to bear so this is this is acceptable instead of the more logical reads which was occurring in the others plan so if i will change the parameter value so let's see which plan it will use so it's using the same plan which we forced and the logical read it will show all the time this one so this is acceptable but the performance is increased because of forcing the plan by we, we analyze the this regress query problems in the query store and then we solve that problem uh, using the force plan which is the feature available in this query stores